What's good, you too? This your man, Spill Dog. Yo, man, I think people be getting getting stuff misunderstood because you might say what what looks to be the truth about some of these fights and some of these fighters. Uh, I like Frank Martin just as much as uh as anybody else uh that that like him. I do. I think Frank Martin showing a lot of uh he he showed a lot of uh. Uh, uh, he showed a lot of potential as a uh, possibly future champion. He definitely is a contender now, you know. Uh, but <clears throat> you got to have these prove it fights. This is like one of those prove it fights right here. Uh, it's not like he, I don't see no ex champions that's on his roster that he's fought up to this point, unless it was one that I didn't know. Uh, usually. But before a guy get a fight like this with Tank, they would have at least fought a old ex champion or something like that. And that's why I said it. it's like he going from crawling to running and skipping the walk phase. Uh, and I, I don't have a problem with it if, if Earl and his team think uh, Frank is ready. And plus, because he had a late start, Frank is pretty old for the number of fights he had, 29 years old. He only had 18 professional fights at this point. That's a big experience advantage for a tank who's had 30 fights. Uh, already 29, might as well say 30. And tank has fought, I think, at, that I know for a fact, three to four uh, former champions and fought two guys that took the, the belts from them, I think. One was Barrios, and I forgot who the other guy he defeated to get titles from, but Tank been tested quite a few times. Pitbull was a good test. Ryan was a good test. Um, Gamboa was a good test at the time that he fought him. Uh, Pedraza was a good test. Leo Santa Cruz was a big test. Uh, you know, Tank has took the he done took these chances already. Uh, Roddy Romero, I don't like him as a fighter, but the boy can't punch. You get caught by him, anybody, he can put you down. Uh, Tank has fought enough fighters that we know who he is. And let's be clear, the same way I say uh, a lot of the exposure Frank got is because he was Earl Spence fighter. The same thing go for Javante Davis, too. That's why I said Frank in the same position to some degree. Tank was in about five, five or six years ago when he was fighting uh, a lot of people know got to know Tank because he was Floyd Mayweather's fighter. It's the same flavor. It's just that Floyd is a much bigger name than Earl Spence and way more accomplished. So uh, being on Floyd pay-per-views gave Tank crazy exposure and popularity. Those are facts too. I mean, the, the, it go both ways. The difference being though, Tank has had time and Mayweather moved him right and gave him a lot of good step-up fights, and he stepped up at the right pace. Now, it was a few fights I feel like he could have had, but you can't be mad at the direction he went. And when you look at the resume, the fighters he fought, only thing you might can say is it ain't no, uh, you don't see no good black fighters on his resume, but that's coming now. Uh, Frank is one. You know what? You can't give a guy, you can't give a guy, the you know, you shouldn't give a guy the respect that they give him, uh, a lot of people give him Frank in his fight against Tank until he has proved he's deserving of that. I like Frank myself. Go watch my videos. I've been a Frank Martin fan, and for the same reason, I think, you know, because one, because he was rocking with Earl. That was what initially drew me to him. Let's just keep it a, a, a buck. That was Earl's first guy he signed, and then after I watched him fight a couple of fights, and knowing he from the, uh, my, uh, damn in my same hometown. Hey, I like Frank too, but shit, I, 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 ain't, finna, I ain't lying to myself and saying, oh yeah, Frank shit, I, he probably gonna beat Tank. What, 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 where's the evidence that I, why would I, why would I think that from the guys he fought up to this point, why would I think he's supposed to go in there and beat Tank? I would like to see him show up in there, uh, and if he do win, hell, I'd be hell happy for him too, because that would be a major accomplishment. A major accomplishment that ain't nobody hardy, not nobody that think they know what they know about boxing. 
uh, think it's going to happen. You know, a lot of the people that's going for Frank are just fans, you know, that just like him, but they don't got no concrete. You don't got nothing concrete to say why you think this really should happen. It ain't nothing he showed to make you think he should be better than Tank. Just be real. He's been hurt by some of these C-level fighters in the ring. Let's keep it a buck. So, I expect him to get hurt by uh, Tank in there. I've seen lesser guys make him flinch and, and, and fold a little bit. I see him struggle with a guy that I think Tank can knock out in a couple of rounds recently. So, this was make me say the stuff I'm saying. I like Frank too, but I don't see nothing he did that shows me or that makes me think he actually can go ahead and win this fight. I don't, I, I don't see nothing to say that. You know, uh, I, I don't see no no granite chin over there because he ain't fought nobody that's really going to check it. Michael Rivera was close, but he dominated that dude because he was too slow for Frank. I don't think that's going to be the case with Spank with Tank. Tank got good speed, too. Tank can counter punch just like uh, Frank can. Tank can lead just like Frank can. So, I don't see, you know, if you tell me some, some things Frank do that Tank can, I'd love to hear it. I haven't seen it, you know. Uh, now, I think Frank is a busier fighter than Tank. I definitely give him that. Uh, I think I think he throw more punches consistently over the course of rounds than Tank, but Tank is more accurate, and Tank don't try not to waste a lot of shots, which most veterans do that's, that have made it to that level and understand that uh, – you know, the big punches count more than a bunch of little punches. And when you set them shots up right and they crystal clear, you're going to get more points for them big shots than you will a bunch of pot shots. And unless you Floyd Mayweather, somebody that can pot shot a guy and not get hit back, you know, at all. I want to see a good fight, win, lose, or draw, regardless of who win. I'm going for Tank, but my feelings won't be hurt if Frank Martin win. You really won't. You know, uh, I like boxing. I'm a boxing fan. I say this again. More than anything else, I got a few fighters that I like more than others. Tank, Earl Spence. Uh, I was a big Deontay Wilder fan once upon a time. Uh, uh, Canelo. I'm a big Canelo fan. Uh, and Terrence Crawford. You know, I used a big Sean Porter and Keith Thurman fan too, but Sean retired and Keith might as well. So, I do like Frank. I do like Shakur Stevenson. You know, uh, it's a lot of I like Ryan Garcia. Uh, it's a lot of fighters I like out there. You know, but it's only a few that I hold in high regard, and Tank is one of them. Uh, Tank is definitely one of them. And I said to the cows, come on. Frank Martin won once he signed the contract and got this fight. He's going to get a bag for this. He's going to get a bag. He might even make a million dollars. I'm not sure. When he get paid, but this is going to be the biggest payday of his career by far. You won right there. He did. And another thing I give him credit for, he made a smart business decision, and he let his reputation take a hit for a couple of months before he announced the fight with Javante Davis when he turned the fight now with Shakur. I was one of the ones. I didn't say nothing about it, but I was. if I did, it wasn't much. I was disappointed because I was like, damn, why Frank bag out the fight with Shakur? It looked like a duck move. It, it looked like he straight up ducked him. That's what I thought. But when a couple of months later, I found out you had a fight with Tank, that ain't no duck move. That's a smart business decision. You damn right I'd rather fight Tank than Shakur. The money going to be bigger. Shakur is a much safer fight. But... You're trying to get, you're trying to be safe, or you're trying to get paid. Frank trying to get paid, got mad respect for that. You ain't gotta chase the money when the money is there to be made. Just go out there and make it. You ain't gotta chase it now. He ain't made it to that point. Like Devin, Devin ain't gotta chase no paper no more. Jeff, Devin just gotta go out there and make that paper. He done already did the chasing. He there. Frank is there now. Tank is there now. See, you get to a certain level, you ain't gotta chase money no more. Now all you gotta do. Is stay focused and make the money. You dig? The money already there and it's already coming. You ain't got to be out here going hella crazy, uh, doing stuff. Just because you're busy don't mean you're actually getting shit done. 
the hard work been done for a lot of these guys. They 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 at the bag now. You know what? Uh, all they gotta do is make smart decisions and make it. I I, I say this was the smartest decision Frank Martin possibly made in his career. Uh, besides signing with Earl Spence, a guy that's gonna believe in you and do just what Spence doing, not make you wait forever and give you and give you the opportunity. If you feel like you're ready to go out there and try to uh, be great and get you some real money, some of these promoters wouldn't even let him do this. That's where you got to respect Earl because Earl is a real fighter too. And if you feel like you're ready, I won't, that's how I want my promoter. I don't want my promoter not giving me fights I want. You know, I don't give a damn what the reason is. Usually when that's the case, that's because the promoter don't believe, believe that you can possibly lose. And you work for me. You know, uh, that's what a lot of these fans got to realize that promoters work for you. You don't let nobody tell you who you do and don't fight, especially when you get to a certain level and you think you can beat this guy. You don't need the people that's in charge of your career not believing in you. And you, I, I, I respect Earl for giving Frank the opportunity for, for, for taking a chance with his fighter and letting him have his fight that he won't, even though he knows it's a dangerous fight at this point in Frank's career. But what these guys don't realize, when you fight a guy as good as Tank Tank Davis and you Frank Martin, even if you lose this fight, you're going to be in better shape than you was before you took it. You're going to have that many more people watch you. The powers that be going to basically owe you another fight. And if nothing else, you're going to get two big paydays. And quiet as it's kept, if things go south from there, if you don't be out here doing stupid stuff, you got enough money to go ahead and, and start you a business or whatever and, and make a big difference in your life. So uh, I ain't never mad at Frank about this. I'm not like a lot of these dudes. I'm not out here super emotional about who win or who don't. Just because I like a fighter more than the other one don't mean I don't like both fighters. I like both of these dudes, but I think Tank is that guy. I don't think none of these dudes got nothing for Tank at 135. None of them. I don't care what name they got. I don't think none of them got enough for Tank at 135. And the only one I think got a realistic chance to me is Shakur Stevenson. Frank might prove, might prove me wrong Saturday night. I mean, Frank just might go in there and, and upset the world and shock the world. This shit happened all the time. Definitely this year. It been an upset on every fight card, big pay-per-view fight card we had this year so far. So, who I wouldn't, I, I expect somebody to probably uh, slip up uh, Saturday night, but I don't expect Tank to be the one. But it's been a lot of main event guys slipping up this year, uh, you know, but I don't see, I, I, as much as I like Frank, I just don't see where he get the win from. Uh, I, like I say, he get hurt to the body. So, it, you know, Tank, Tank already down now. He gonna be ripping shots, you know. Uh, and if they make it to the second half of the fight, I think that's when they're in trouble. I said it over and over again. I think Frank gonna be dangerous for about four or five rounds. I think for about four or five rounds, it'll be back and forth, nip and tuck. Frank may even have a little lead going into the fifth round. But I think going into the second half of the fight, uh, Tank will have his timing and everything down. And that's when you'll start seeing the, the better fighter uh, start rising to the occasion and it's kind of showing that he's a, a level or so above a guy. And if he don't, then maybe, then, hey, you know, because from where I'm sitting at, this shouldn't be that hard of a fight for Devontae Davis. It really shouldn't. He, as a matter of fact, Frank is one of the guys that's more close to his height and reach than and then he had in a while. So this, like I said, in a lot of ways, this is a much easier fight in some ways from Tank, just in a height and reach uh, situation that he's been dealing with over the last couple of fights. So he should be hella comfortable in the ring with Frank, and they done already sparred together before. So Tank is the one picked the guy to fight. So I don't, if, if, if I can't worry with Tank, and if Tank said this, and you know, and, he been Tank been saying he wanted Shakur Stevenson this year. I think in my heart that he got plans on fighting Shakur Stevenson next. And if that be the case, and he been out the ring as long as he have already, give me a good solid southpaw that I know is tough, durable, and can box, 
and let me get let me let me go through a fight with him, and then then I let then we can go do the uh, Shakur Stevens fight. I, I that's what I think Frank in there for to get Tank ready for Shakur Stevens, and that ain't no disrespect to Frank, regardless of how people want to take it. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, if you like and subscribe to the next Danny Sports Spiel Dog, I'm out.